My plan is to spend three days hiking up in the Shelf Lake area and the Sky Rim Trail. That's this area right here. Right here is Shelf Lake. Campground WE5 and WE7 right here. This is the northwest corner of Yellowstone Park. The way I'm going to get there is to hike up Specimen Creek, start at the Specimen Creek Trailhead right here. Come up here. Here's the junction that takes you up to Crescent Lake. I'll continue on up this way into Shelf Lake and hopefully camp two nights in one of these two campgrounds. If by chance I cannot get a backcountry permit, I'll simply hike on up to the Sky Rim Trail, which goes along here. But I'll hike up here and just uh, camp outside of the uh, park boundary. Another way to get here, which is about the same distance, is to come up from Black Butte. Here's the Black Butte Trailhead. Come up around this way. There's quite a bit of wildlife up Specimen Creek and up here in this area. A lot of bear up here. Hard to see though because of the trees. Um, a lot of mountain goats up in, in this area. Mountain goats over here. A lot of mountain sheep along here. A lot of grizzly up through here. Like I said, a lot of black bear up here. But this time of year, which is mid-September, it gets kind of hard to see the uh, bear because they are scattered out everywhere. They're high, they're low, but midday they're almost always laying in the shade somewhere. The bear are more active at night. So the chances of seeing a bear are not that high, but, but I know there's a lot up here and we might see one, so we'll see. So that's the plan. First thing I gotta do is, is go down to uh, West Yellowstone. This is Highway 191. Gotta go down there and get a backcountry permit. That's 26 miles, so they don't open until 8. So hopefully I can get a permit at 8 and be back up here at the trailhead between 9 and 9.30. That'll put me up to the lake around 3 to 3.30 which gives me time to get my camp set up and maybe do a little hiking. So that's the plan. This is West Yellowstone. get into the park by going up there and this is the visitor center where you get your pass your backcountry permit I'm at the Specimen Creek Trailhead I'm going to, be, I'm going to spend three days up in the Shelf Lake area. Spend uh, a day up there hiking the Sky Rim Trail. Um, looks like it's going to be nice weather. There are a lot of wildlife up here, but it's kind of hard to see uh, in all the forest. But uh, it should be a nice uh, backpacking trip. Two nights up in Shelf Lake and three days hiking. This is one mile up the trail. We're about two miles up the trail. That's a view looking north. This is the Sportsman Lake and High Lake Junction. It's a little over two miles up the trail. Uh, Sportsman Lake and High Lake 
are great places to uh, do a day hike to. Sportsman Lake is going to be about a 23 or 24 mile round trip and there's quite a bit of elevation. But if you really want to, want to uh, get into the backcountry and you haven't done much hiking, you can get with an outfitter that take you up on horses. They bring the tents, they bring the mills, everything. Sportsman Lake is a nice place to go for that. That seems to be a major destination for the outfitters. But I wouldn't want to camp up there myself because there are a lot of people, a lot of horses, outfitters up there. And heading up this way is Specimen Creek. That will take you up to Crescent Lake and on up to uh, Shelf Lake, where we're going right now. This is the first campsite up Specimen Creek, WE1. It's only about 2.3 miles up the trail. It's a real nice campsite. Uh, but be aware there are a lot of bear around in this area. We're a little over four miles up the trail. I always hope to spot something in this opening here. I see bear tracks up through there a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, I just heard something right up here. Heard something up by that cliff. I think I'll head right up through here and see if I can figure out what I heard. Well, that was good. Saw a couple mountain sheep, a little one trying to get, uh, get up on the rock with his mom. So that was pretty good. A few hundred yards up there by the uh, cliff. Well, this is the Crescent Lake. Shelf Lake Junction, Crescent Lake heads up that way, Shelf Lake heads up that way. So I think I'll stop right here and have some lunch.
Here we are at Shelf Lake. Very nice lake. Bigger than I expected. Here's my campsite, WE5. Really nice campsite. There's the lake, shelf lake. Here's my tent all set up. Looks nice and comfortable. There's the lake. I'm on, on, the, on the mountain just above Shelf Lake. You see Shelf Lake down there. I haven't seen any wildlife yet, so sit up here a while and see if I can spot anything. I am up on the Skyrim Trail looking north. Well, this is the end of day one, Saturday. It was a real nice hike up here. Um, I hiked up to the top of the Skyrim Trail right there. Just got back. Looked around a little bit. Tomorrow I plan on hiking, spending the whole day up on the Skyrim. Hiking up to a couple peaks. But it was a real nice day. It's nice and quiet. Real nice lake. There are no streams running into the lake and no stream running out of the lake. So apparently this lake has a spring down the bottom of it somewhere. Really nice clear water. Quiet, cool, really nice up here. Good morning. It's Sunday, September 10th. It was a nice, cool, quiet evening. It's about uh, 7.40 right now. And uh, it's time to head up into the uh, Skyrim Trail. This is looking west, looking south, this is looking east.
like I see some mountain goats right over there. I'm kind of pointed directly into the sun so the uh, video doesn't show up very well. It's a little hazy also. I can see two mountain goats up there right now. This is something you don't see a whole lot. This is a pika. They live at high altitudes up in the rocks. My camp is right down, right down there. Got some bear tracks heading down towards my camp. It's a back foot. Front foot. down this trail. I'm camped down there about uh, one mile. See this is a black bear track. See the curvature there. Looking at this one, here's the toes right here and the claws are just out in front of the toes. Not really great tracks, but these are the best ones I can find. And it looks like black bear. I didn't bring anything to measure with, but a uh, full-size 300-pound male black bear, black bear will have uh, tracks that are about four and a half inches wide. I didn't bring anything to measure with, but that looks close to four and a half to five inches. Here's the back foot right here. About four and a half to five. Here's the toes. Here's the pad. Looks like a one claw mark right there in front of the toes. Looking at the curvature, still looks like a uh, full grown 300 pound black bear to me. Still following the uh, bear tracks. I'm going to sit here for a minute. That area right up in there looks like a prime area for grizzly bear. Don't see anything up there. That green vegetation looks pretty good. Kind of like this track. Here's a back foot that's on top of our front foot. Here's a pad. Here's the toes. 
and here are the claw marks right in front of the toes. Black bear. But notice this black bear. He's walking up the trail. He's going somewhere with a purpose, so they use a trail. If he's just eating and grazing, he'll be moving out in here. But when a bear wants to go somewhere, they take the easy path, which is the trail. So I've been following these black bear tracks for over a mile. Came down this mountain, walked straight across this open field here, and took the trail back up and over that mountain. Okay, this is interesting. This bear track now is going the opposite direction. I've been following the tracks that went that way. This one is going that way. So I'll have to watch up here and try to figure out if, if this bear just turned around. There's another track right here. Walk back and forth here and then continue on the other direction. Or is it a different bear? But every track has a story, and it's kind of interesting to try to figure out how fast the, the bear was moving, the direction, what, what kind of bear it is, and what's the bear doing. I know the bear that was headed that way has been on the trail for the last mile and a half. Not sure about the tracks going this direction. So it's pretty clear the tracks are headed back the other direction again. So apparently, right back there, he turned around, did something, and then headed back to the south again. This is looking southeast towards Crescent Lake. I can see Crescent Lake over there. Well, this is Sunday evening, second day. Did some hiking up uh, on the Skyrim Trail. Um, saw some uh, mountain goats up there. Also about a mile to about two and a half miles, I followed uh, some really fresh black bear tracks that were actually coming down my way. I've been sitting here for about an hour looking out in this area to see if I can spot any bear, but I haven't uh, spot any. That black bear is definitely in the area somewhere. Good morning. This is Monday morning. Last night was a very exciting if not scary night. There was a bear right here in the water. I don't know what time it was, but uh, initially I thought I heard a bear grunt. I woke up, listened for a while, fell back to sleep, thought maybe I was dreaming. A little while later I heard a lot of splashing down here. Woke up, Listen for a minute, grab my bear spray, 
and my light and then I heard more splashing again. I unzipped uh, my tent, shined my light around, but all, all I could see is these trees and it kept on uh, splashing making all kinds of noise. Shut my light off, listened for about another five minutes a lot of noise. Shined my light around, shined it up in the tree. Nothing stopped it. So finally, I uh, yelled at it. I said, hey bear, hey bear, go away. And you could hear it calmly walk out, out of the water. So what I'm going to do first thing this morning before I uh, eat and uh, tear down my uh, camp is we're going to go and look for signs of a bear. Should be able to find something. Last night before I uh, went to bed I prepared the trails in a couple spots by taking a pine limb and erasing everything off of the trail. So if there's any tracks we should be, be able to pick up the tracks real easy. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, here's the first evidence. You can see where I, I've cleaned this trail. And right here, here's the toes, here's the pad, here's the claw marks. Another foot right here. Oh, here's a uh, here's a good front foot. Here's the pad. This will be a right foot. Here's the pad. Here are the toes. There's the claw marks. Try. It. I want to see if I can determine what kind of bear this is. Not messing up the track. This toe looks like it's down. The, the claws aren't that far up. Kind of looks like a uh, same black bear that I was tracking yesterday. But I haven't determined that yet. It's the back foot. So he came up from this direction. My camp is right over there. Looks like he came up past my camp right there. Let's see if we can figure out where he went. Track. Almost looks like there's a uh, cub with it, but I can't tell for sure yet. So he's come up through there and he's headed up this way. Okay, so I came up the trail right there, and instead of continuing up the trail, here's a nice track right here. He went through there. Track right there. Track right here, There's front foot right there, other foot right there. Oh, here's a nice. This likes looks like a. You can see the toes there, but that looks like one track on top of another track. So we went to the top of this mound right here. 
Okay, so there's the top of the mound. He came down through there. Went down through here. Went down, oh, here's some good, good tracks right through here. Oh, and there's a pile of bear scat right there. Maybe I'll take a look at this and try to see what it's been eating. Looks like a lot of seeds. See these see, see the seeds right here? Still a little bit warm. I don't know what all this stuff here is. See the seeds, the pits, and berries. So I went down to the lake right here. Yeah, we should be able to find out, see some good tracks going into the lake, and maybe coming out. Here's a nice track. In fact, I can see the uh, claw marks right here close. See, uh, Yeah, see. Claw marks right there. Grizzly bear, I think, would be a little bit further out here. Plus, there's quite a bit of curvature on this. This looks like that same black bear that I was tracking yesterday. Okay, walked right along the shore here. Now the thing about bear tracks in the mud is it actually looks bigger than what the, the uh, foot actually is because the mud will kind of splay out. So this looks like a huge track. By the looks of it though, it looks like two tracks on top of one. That's the reason it looks so big. This is a uh, this one right here next to it. Looks more like the actual size. This one looks a little bit smaller again. Looks like there was like a two-year-old cub with it. So he walked right along the beach right here. My camp is right there. So from what I can determine is he came up, my camp is right there. He came up through there, walked around there, up over that mound up over that mound up there. Came down through here. 
the bear scat is right there. Walked around there and he's coming right back up the beach right here. Okay, he goes into the water right here. I can see a track right there. I can see another track right up there. Right in there. No tracks up there. So we went into the water right here. Okay, so he, he walked along there, went in the water right there. After I yelled at him, it looks like he came right through here. Right back up through there. I'm camped right over there. That was pretty exciting. I didn't sleep very well the rest of the night. Well, I've been tracking, backtracking this bear. The lake is about oh, 300 yards over that way. Bears came down through the forest, down through here. And I found another pile of bear scat right here. You can see his tracks here. So he came up from the area that I set for like an hour last night observing for bear over the side here. So he came up right in here somewhere. That's where I sat right over there for like an hour last night. Looking for bear down in this area. So I lost his tracks right up here a little bit. So he may have come across right there or maybe up through there. Well, I am packed up, ready to head, head out. One last look at Shelf Lake. There have been so many bear tracks on this trail going both directions Well, I'm back at the trailhead. It was a fun, fun hike. Last night was really exciting with the bear in the lake. 
but Shelf Lake is a really nice place. A lot of bear tracks all over on the trail. It's a good hike.